Hey guys, Jimmy Pokemon here, bringing you guys a PSA Returns, and this is a very, very special PSA Returns. It's my 15 card renewal that I uh, sent off. And the reason this is good is because it has some of the really, really high end cards that I've shown on camera this year. It has some crystals from Sky Ridge, it has the Aquapolis crystals, it has a few of the really high end gray stamps in here. And so, most PSA Returns, I do not know the grades. But unfortunately for this one, I do know the grades because PSA reached out to me and they said, hey, one of your cards graded really, really well. Um, we have to charge you just a little bit more for it. And so with that, I had to go verify the card, the grade, the price. And uh, it ended up cost me uh, around, uh, I think, $116 more with uh, shipping. And so I do know these grades, but the grades are phenomenal. And I'm just excited to share them with you guys. So... I think uh, this might be one of the gray stamps. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. PSA 8, Gold Star Charizard. I don't think I shared this with uh, you guys yet. But basically, this was a card that popped up on eBay. It looked mint. It looked like you could get a 9. And someone linked it to me, and I ended up buying it, I think, for like 500 bucks. And so, really, I'm getting close to that value back. I think an eight's worth a little bit more than 500 bucks at this point. But there's a chance for a nine. And plus, this is such a cool card. Um, this, I mean, you just don't see these pop up that often, especially when they're looking that clean. And really, the defects here on the back are you see little corners, which I couldn't really see in the pictures on camera when I did look at it. And so, this is, this is a gorgeous card. And how often do you see Gold Star Charizard get graded these days? Next up. Yep, yep, yep. I was aware of this, and I actually asked uh, PSA to review it. This is the off-center Alakazam. I think I showed it on uh, Instagram. I don't think I posted it on YouTube yet. But you can see there's a little print dot in the bottom left-hand corner. You see how, like, off-center that is? I really thought this had a chance for the 90C. I mean, you look at that hollow foil. It's so clean. It's just a gorgeous card. But when you look at the back, you can actually see there's a little bit of edgeware on the right over here. A little edgeware. I mean, you know, I guess it's edgeware ledge at the top and it just doesn't hit the quality pieces and what i've this is a little dusty and what i've learned with psa is to get an oc grade whether it's an 8oc or 9oc basically an 8oc is a psa 9 quality card i, I assume and then i think uh 9oc is like a psa 10 quality card like pristine and so it looks like this probably didn't hit that either one of those nine or ten range just with the back edge wear and i wouldn't expect a an, a normal exam with this type of edge wear to get a uh, PSA 9 so because of that and because it also didn't hit the miscut qualifier which I'm, I think miscuts you got to see the other card at the bottom it's kind of hard for me to I'm still trying to figure it out because <laughs> obviously I wouldn't have sent this if I knew it would have just come back it would have came back a six uh, but anyway it, it's it's a very rare card you don't see an Alakazam first edition base this miscut that often um, but here we go we're we're in that that little weird spot where we're trying to figure it out so there's only 15 cards here, and we're on card number three. I think this is another gray stamp. And it is. It's the Gyarados. That's nice. That's so nice. So I knew this got a PSA 7. I've had a few people reach out to me. I uh, see the uh, scratches on there. And I believe in the video we did, um, I posted that video after I sent this card off. Um, so I believe I thought it was going to get a seven. I think that's what we settled on. When I first opened the package, it was like, get a nine, then it went down to an eight. Then we kept looking more and more in depth at it. And you can see there's some edge wear at the top up there, a little corner thing. So not quite perfect. And actually, um, weird story, but I actually have a six right next to it. And uh, you can see the six is actually much more gray than the seven, which is kind of crazy. And so the uh, six here is actually being sold to one of the people that reach out to me about the Gyarados. And uh, I'll show you the difference in quality in the six. The six has like a ton of edge wear right through here. Seven overall is like a really, really clean seven. It just, it just has, I think, some hollowful scratches. And the six has some hollowful scratch, a lot of hollowful scratches as well. But uh, anyway, this is going to help uh, one of my friends complete a gray stamp set he's going for, which is really nice. So, and these cards are, are brutal to find. I think I remember I told you guys to pay like 500 bucks or so. And then with eBay bucks, is a little less. Uh, but yeah, it's um, it's still a gorgeous card though. Uh, so seven is actually in line with what we expected. Maybe eight, but seven, you know, that's okay. At least, it didn't, you know, keep going down. Uh, next up, and, and I do know these grades, so we'll see what it is. Oh, PSA 9, the Reshi, Reshi Charizard, or Reshi Zard, if that's like the new, like, uh, name people are given. Uh, this is gorgeous. I think some of these I was worried about it being off-center. So you can see the bottom and the top. I, I thought that either... I sent off two, and I thought they would both get nines, and they actually had different grades, so you'll see that soon. Um, 
the back's really flawless, pretty much. I mean, maybe uh, it's, it's actually really hard to tell what the flaw is. I'd probably say centering. That'd be the one thing I'd guess. And when I was at the, uh, when I bought these in person, I got to basically look at them, verify they were mint. And so I bought the best ones. There were like two or three I passed on at like 160, 180 each. They just didn't make sense for the quality. The quality wasn't going to get a nine or a 10. So, um, but yeah, I, I think I paid like 160, 180 for the three copies that I do have. So this should be the next one. And it got a 10. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, one is I don't have to pay like 750 bucks or whatever these crazy things are going for right now. I basically, let's say this is an expensive one. I paid 180 for it. Sent it off to grade in my free you know, PSA submission, which I, you pay 250 bucks for the membership. And then you get 15 free grades you, just to renew every year. And the reason I do that is so I can get like bulk pricing and stuff. And so with those 15 free grades, I sent this off. And... Uh, my really my total cost on this is like less than 200 bucks so that's pretty awesome very very excited about that and these cards come out so mint like they look so good right out of the pack they're just um they're just absolutely gorgeous and if you pull one of these out of a pack i would expect it to either get a nine or a ten probably get a ten as long as you don't you know scratch it up or anything so gorgeous gorgeous card this is actually going to my master charizard set very very excited about that um, so this is one more piece down. It's one more piece. So I think at this point I'm caught up with all new Charizards, except for the like buku of Charizards that are coming out in August um, of 2019. So this is July when I'm recording this. Uh, this looks really good. Ho ho, Sky Ridge Reverse Hollow PSA 10. So I have no idea when I'm going to post that full Sky Ridge set video where I uh, basically show the set that these came in but i got that set in december 2018 right before i moved to chicago and so in that set i uh didn't really go through it i, I set it off the side for a while but the uh the higher end cards i knew i had some i needed to put in this 15 card sub so i went and pulled a few of them out like Ho charizard and the rest of these that you'll see in here uh, that was to, to fill the 15 card sub so to, to get a sky ridge psa 10 of anything is pretty sick um, to get, you know, like a ho, ho crystal, that's even more sick. And so that's that's awesome. All right, next up. I know there's some really good ones coming, guys. There's some really, really good ones coming. Celebi, PSA 10, reverse hollow. I know some people hate when I say the 10, but, man, it's like when you hit that grade, it's like you're so excited. You just want to say the whole thing. You know, you don't want there to be any ambiguity when you're <laughs> saying the card. But, I mean, just look at that Celebi, like, artwork. I mean, if you really zoom in, and actually it was looking at some of the stats, and I think some people watch this on, like, their TVs and stuff. And I, I try to record, like, 4K on my phone. I don't know if that's a like, true 4K or not, but basically, like, imagine just throwing this on your TV and just seeing that Celebi Sky Ridge artwork just, like, it's so gorgeous, man. That is just, that's an awesome grade. So very, very excited about that. Uh, Crystal Celebi, man, like, and these things are getting harder to find, so I'm actually still debating whether or not I'm going to I'm gonna sell the extras because I already have some of these. Um, I really don't know, so I'm, I'm up in the air about it. Uh, next up. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so nice. That's so nice. And when I looked at the grades, it was like a week, week and a half ago, so... It has been a little bit, but I, I knew the grades were really, really good. And let's just zoom in one more time on that Celebi. Ooh, ooh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Uh, let's see. We gotta zoom back out a little bit. This is like a Sky Ridge appreciation video. Oh my gosh, that's that right there is just gorgeous. Wow. Oh my gosh. And surprisingly, like you know, crystals have come down a lot in price. So um, you know, if you're gonna like try to time the market or speculate or something. Uh, I think I'd probably hold on to these a little bit longer before trying to let them go for what they're going for now. Uh, next up, <laughs> Crystal Charizard Reverse. Yeah, that's a pretty big card. PSA 9. And so that's sick. I think that's where I just touched it right there. But uh, that's that's awesome. Man, just that shine right there. Ooh, that's awesome. I, I literally haven't looked at these cards in a while. I mean, I sent them off a while ago. So it's, um, it's really nice. Probably that nick up there is why I got the 9. So... That's, uh, ooh, man, I think these are still above like 500 bucks, I think, for a reverse. I was looking, 
I was looking at the prices of these, and I, th I think that's what I remember seeing. So after I, I got the grades back, I was like, all right, I need to see like what where the values are right now because I haven't looked at Crystal Sky Ridge. I mean, if you look at – I have videos way, way back where I show the master like Crystal set. It was like four years ago. <laughs> so I haven't chased one of these in a long time. Uh, oh, I know what this is. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? You guys are going to react for me, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. That's awesome. Oh, man. Dude, like, I, I so wish, I so wish I didn't know the grades. Like, dude, seeing these just with you guys, like, for the first time, like, I would have been freaking out, man. I, I know I would have been freaking out. It's like, like for like literally a week, I'm like, oh, Crystal Charizard coming in, PSA 10, it's coming in, I'm so excited. But then, you know, it's like, you know, it's like the, the moment was kind of spoiled a little bit, but I, um, I'm just excited to see it, man, because I know when uh, I made the, the Sky Ridge, kind of when the set came in, I was hesitant. I was like, oh, my gosh, like, could it get a 10? Could it not? I mean, because it's a make or break card, you know. I think a nine's around like a 1,000. I think the last 10 was in the $2,000 range. So it actually aren't any 10s listed. When I looked up the prices, there weren't any listed on eBay. So um, if there's none listed, then, like, I'm not going to list for the last sales price. So obviously there's – you know, you don't want to do that, but, um, just gorgeous, gorgeous card, man. Like, Ooh, the end of an era, man. Like <laughs> Wizards of the coast going out strong. All right. Next up, this hello got an eight. I think I remember seeing that thinking like, Oh, okay. You know, like one of the, one of the grades didn't hit a nine or 10. So that's, uh, that's interesting, but you see all that sparkle, man. That's just crazy. It's almost getting to the point of like the the Japanese ancient Mew, where that card's just covered, like almost like a Neo shining. You know what I mean? Like that is just like a like a Neo shining like Revelation card, a Gyarados or a Magic card. You can see two nicks up there in the back, and then let's see if we can. Uh, oh yeah, I see some scratches on there. Okay, yeah, that makes sense actually. Okay, so you know when you, I guess the girl who uh, sold me this set, she put it all together. Um, maybe this was came out of the pack like that. Maybe she bought an extra one. I, I have no idea. But um, this, you know, has has a few things going on with it. All right, we're getting down to it, guys. Really appreciate you guys watching. Like this is this is extremely extremely high end returns. Like this is awesome. PSA nine Crobat. I think when I first went through and tried to collect this set and I was putting everything together, uh, Crobat was actually, the, the hollow version of this was actually the last card I needed. I couldn't find it for the longest time. It just didn't pop up. And I paid the above average price of around $150 for it. <laughs> so that was like four years ago. And at the time I was like, man, I'm really paying out for this Crobat, but I needed to complete the set. So we've come a long way since then. And uh, yeah, it's on the card. All right, next up, three cards left, guys. We're almost there. The Holographic Kingdra from Aquapolis. And cool fun fact, I know this comes up a lot, but there are no reverse hollows from Aquapolis. There are not any reverse hollows. So I know a lot of people look for them. I know when I was first putting Aquapolis together, I was like, man, where are the reverse hollow crystals? They have to be like the rarest thing I've ever seen. You know, and lo and behold, I've never actually seen them because they don't exist. So um, that didn't start till uh, Sky Ridge. Gorgeous, gorgeous card there. Next up, Lugia PSA 10. That's awesome. Another uh, pretty sick card. Again, really, really cool all around. Um, it's just like it's it's like one of the the coolest Lugias out there. I think. I think you know there obviously there's some newer ones that are pretty neat, but you know it's like you have Neo Genesis, which was the first Lugia. And then you go down the line a little bit, then you have like the Aquapolis, like Crystal Lugia. And this was like easily the coolest Lugia that had come out. I mean, it's it's literally shining, like <laughs> the, the shining Crystal Lugia, whatever you want to call it. But uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous card. Very, very happy to have it. Um, yeah, but this is another reason why that Aquapolis set's doing really well. So again, pay 2800 bucks for it. I'm not too sure what the tens on this are going for. I know I have a ten list on eBay that's like way, way high, like way above like what they're going for. Um, but again, like you know, it's pulling through. That set's pulling through. So nine and Kingdra, ten and Lugia, then last card Magic, probably a Nitto King. Yep, and we got a ten. Very, very sweet. I remember it was like mid year last year, maybe early last year, 2008. No, no, not 2008. 2018. Yeah, I was like, what year is it? 
Uh, I think these are selling for like eight, nine hundred bucks. I think it's come down drastically since then, so I do not think they are still in that range. But I think this was one that was uh, selling selling pretty high. But again, you know, th this set it, it killed it. It really killed it, and I'm so happy that I kept a set because um, I was so hesitant. You know, I was, I was really hesitant. It was like, you know, to me that's a lot of money for a loose set. But a, a cool fun fact is. You know, the reason I did so well with so many of the sets I sent off to get graded was because I paid a little bit more than the next person's willing to pay. You know, there were, there were Shadows Charizards on eBay for like 200, 250 bucks, and people did want to pay it, but I paid a little bit more and I picked them up, and a lot of them graded nines, you know. So at one point I had like, you know, I think double digit Shadowless Charizard PSA nines, and my cost basis on almost all of them was like 200, 250 bucks. You know, it, it's just, it was, I was just willing to take the risk. So, um, with this, you know, I knew the set, I'd calculate the value. Uh, it actually went really close to what I, my max was. And uh, I was just willing to take the risk. So uh, it paid off, but also, you know, as the prices increase, you know, as supply dwindles and demand goes up, um, you know, there's uh, a chance that the risk won't always pay off. And so I was very, very fortunate. And I'm very, very happy with this returns. Um, but, you know, at the same time, it, um, it, it could have gone the other way completely. Uh, so, I actually, I don't know if I ever said how much that Skyridge set, how much I paid for it. Um, I don't know. I may just put it in a comment in one of the videos. But the Skyridge set was, like, a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, gorgeous card. Like, I was happy with this. So happy with that, man. Like, that's, that's like, collection piece. That's, like, something that, like, you're going to stow away. You never intend to sell. You're just, you're ready to go. And this, I'm, like... Dude, if someone's going to pay good money for this, I'm going to let it go, like, right away. I feel like it's like a hot potato, you know. It's like, dude, people are paying out the, uh, crazy for it. It's like, all right, you know, I'm, I'm going to get it out of my hands. Like, I don't want to risk that card crashing down. Uh, beautiful card right here. Frey St. Gyarados. Oh, Siakazam. I mean, oh, so sick, so sick. I um, I paid 500 bucks for this loose. So there's another price point for you guys. Um, I don't know if I'll crack it out, put it in a binder, but I think I just need to leave it in the case, leave it protected. But for the time being, there's no PSA 9 OC first edition Alakazams. So it literally is like the one and only I have and like my, my set. So this will be that placeholder for now. Um, and really, it looks just like the other ones. It just didn't have the quality element. And then, of course, you know, the one random card, which is a Gold Star Charizard. Like, what? It's like, yeah, this could be the random card any day of the week. Uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous card. So, hey, I really appreciate you guys watching. I, I, I so wish I could have, like, done a reaction video and, like, seen these for the first time and just thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, but, hey, you know, it came back. It did really well. I'm so, so happy with it. Uh, so, until next time, guys, take care.